Hey guys, this is Edward Savvies, and today we're going to be doing box three of our Penny Hunt and Album Fell series. Got our box of pennies here. And this one actually looks a whole lot better than what we've been having. So I open it up, check for enders. We have two Canadian enders, both next to each other, which is kind of weird. 2001, and then one young head, which will be 1964 or older. So we need the 2001, and I think we only have the 63 young head, so that's probably enough. We also have two wheat sun unders too, and they also are next to each other, which is weird. We have a 1945S and a 1946P. There's also a 59 on the other side, which is pretty cool, and lots of older designs. So hopefully that's a sign this will be a better box, because the last two boxes weren't great. But yeah, uh, here's the albums. Let's go through them quickly. Not much on the first two pages, third page a little bit more, and then the common stuff. And then last episode we got the 2022 Denver, so maybe we'll get a 2022 Philly. And then also the Canadian album. Yeah. Just a few in here. Yep, so we'll be looking for wheat sense and Canadians trying to fill them in the album. Alright, so I'll start on roll one and bring you in on the first band. So we're on roll two, laid it out, I already see a wheat sense. Looks a little bit more warm, probably just 40s though. Oh, no, 1952 Denver, and I think we already have that one. But still, it's good to see. I already got one in roll two. We're on roll five. And it was an under, but reverse facing. It's my second 2022 Denver. Pretty gross, but hopefully that means there's 2022s in this box. Roll nine. We ended up and we have a Canadian, one of the 12 sided ones. And I don't think we have any 12 sided ones yet, so it'll probably be for the book. 1985. I don't need to check and see if it's the pointed or the normal. I think that's just the normal blunt five. But yeah. Cool. One Canadian and one week sun. Roll 12. Laid it out, and we're gonna have another Canadian here. 1978 Canadian penny. Might already have that one, but I don't think so. We're on roll 17, and we're gonna have another week sun. And it's another one for the book. 1954 from Denver. Pretty cool. Second week sun on the box. Maybe it'll pick up a little bit more, but we're already tied for the first box with four because of the enders. Very right, next roll, roll 18. And we're gonna have another wheat scent. I went for the book too. 1942 from Denver. And that's a little bit older and not one I see very often at all. I don't know if I've ever even found one for my main book. So that's cool. Third wheat scent in the box. Roll 23, it's picking up a little bit now. We're gonna have another wheat scent. 1955 from Denver. That's another one for the book. Four now, so plus the unders is tied for the last box. Oh, got a 2009 there as well. Very next roll, roll 24. Laid it out. We're gonna have another wheat scent. Maybe slightly older, but probably just the 40s. Yep, 1944 Philly. I think we already have it, but still. Fifth wheat scent of the box. Three rolls in a row now. We're halfway through the box. Roll 25. Now we're another wheat scent. 1954 from Denver. Not new because it's our second 54 Denver. Still, that's nice fine. We're now four rolls in a row now. Got another wheat scent here. 1949 Denver. We went for the book. And now seventh of the box. If we get one in the next row, then it'll be five, six, seven in a row because of the enders. So hopefully we'll see. So we didn't get five rows in a row with a wheat scent, but here's the first wheat scent under 1945S, I think. I'll open it, see if there's anything else. So I laid out roll 28, which was the one with the ender. So we do have the 45S ender here, which is new one for the book, and 
then also right here I see another wheat scent. So that's two in this row. 1957 Denver. That's the newest wheat scent in the box. Not a new one for the book, but still doing much better than the last couple boxes. Still got one. And if I don't find anything else in this roll, then I'll just bring you in once I open this roll with the 46 ender. So roll 29, that was the wheat scent ender. Laid out, we got a 1946 Philly. Pretty trashed, but I do think it's a new one for the book. Also, I saw down here, we have another Canadian, and it looks like it could be slightly older. So I'm gonna look at the back before I open. Here you look at the date. So it's a young head, so that's 64 earlier. 1963, that's the one we already have for the young heads, I think. But still, nice find. Third Canadian of the box. Roll 31. We're gonna have another wheat scent. This will be 11 for the box. 1944 Philly. Pretty common, but still nice to get another one. So we're on roll 35, and that's gonna be the young head ender. I'll open it up and show you what's inside. So I laid out the roll, and it's definitely a young head, and as long as it's not 63, we still need it. So hoping for that, not that. 54, that's an old one. That's probably, I don't know if I've ever even found a 54 young head in my main Canadian book, but that's a really nice find. Probably find of the box so far, because 54 I think is a better year. I'll keep hunting, and if I don't find anything else in this roll, then I'll just bring you in on the 2001 there and show you what it is. Same roll, just a few coins later. We're actually going to have a 52S, which is cool. New one for the book. And I looked over at my main penny album, the 54. That's the rarest of the young head years, which is really cool. Only 22 million, so that's a better date. And I've never found it in my main book, but that's cool. So yeah, I'll still bring you in on the next one when I open it. So rule 36, that was the second under. Canadian under laid it out and it's a 2001 it's actually bent but yeah 2001 Canadian fifth Canadian in the box which is pretty cool roll 37 and we're gonna have another wheat scent it's a 1955 from Denver we're on roll 39 now yeah 39 I it out, and I see two wheat scents, and this one looks like it could be a little older. We'll do this one first. What? <laughs> That's a 1925 Denver. I, I thought the other one was going to be older. It's not in bad condition either. 1925 Denver. I think I found a 1925 S once, and I think that was low minted. Lowish. I think it's only like 20 million. Well, that's a nice find. Slight rotation there, too. Not anything crazy, though. Then what could this one be? Probably just gonna be common. Yep, 1941. Still a new one for the book. 1925 Denver. That's a really nice find. Super happy to find that. Cool. Well, I'll keep hunting. And a lot of wheat scents in this box. Probably the best box of this series so far. And we still got 11 rolls left. We're on roll 44. Open it up and we're going to have another Canadian. How about the edge? 1983. Sixth Canadian in the box and a new one for the book. Roll 49. Second last roll of the box. Um, we got a wheat scent here. Pretty new looking. Oh, 1941. Kind of some damage around the edge though. So I'll probably put in this one, even though it's more worn, because it's not damaged. Roll 50, last roll of the box. I'll open it live, just for fun. This was a pretty good box so far. We got a bunch of Canadians, a couple old ones. 
I looked up the mintage of the 25 Denver. It's like 22.5, so it's pretty much the same as the 54 Young Canadian. But yeah, maybe we'll get one more in this last roll. Oh, well, we'll have a Canadian at least. See it right there. 2001. <laughs> it's the one we already have. It's not bent though, so I don't know. I don't know which one I'll put in. It's cool. Another Canadian in the box. I'll just go through quickly looking for weed scents or anything else. I'll go back through and take out all the copper and stuff. Right, that looks like it's it for that roll and that box. I'll organize all the finds and bring you a wrap up. So that's it for that penny box. Here's what we found. Uh, there are the 2022s. We got five 2022 Denver's, but no Phillies. So no more spots filled there. Those are the 59s, the 2009s, the S mints. There's a couple weird ones I found. This one's like sparkly. This one's all sanded down. Here's a few that fill spots in the album. And then here's the Canadians. We got seven Canadians, two of which are young heads. That 1954 is a really good find. Only 22 million of those minted. Then the wheat scents. We got seven in the 50s. We got eight in the 40s and then one in the 20s the 1925 denver probably these two are the finds of the box but yeah really happy with both those so i'll put them in the albums upgrade the ones that i upgrading and show you the albums so here are the books after three boxes um show you the canadian ones first, i guess we filled five spots in here we filled the 54 right there. Um, we filled the 78 there, the 83 there, and the 85 there. Almost got half that page full, which is cool. Then we filled the 2001 right there. So five in that book, no upgrades, but yeah. Then for the wheat cents, we filled, or for just the pennies, we filled 12 spots and upgraded nine. Um, none on the first page. On the second page, we filled that 25S, probably the find of the hunt, which is pretty cool. On the third page, we filled the 41P, the 42D, uh, the 45S, and we have the 45PDS, which is cool. Uh, the 46P, the 49D, the 52S, um, the 54D, and the 55D for the wheat cents. Then we also found a 62P and 63P. We upgraded the 59P, the 60P, the 61P, the 64P, um, the 70D, which was down here. And no. We're still missing the 68S, but that's a harder one to find. We upgraded the 60 or the 73D, the 76P, um, the 81P, and we added the 87P, and we're also missing two of the 82s, but again, hard to find. And we upgraded the 98, 98P, 
um, wherever it is, right there, 98D, that one. And then we filled the 2009 formative years, Denver. So that'll actually, that's actually 13 spots filled, not 12. Forgot to mark that one down. But yeah, that was a fun hunt and got some cool finds, especially that 54 Canadian and 25 Denver. So yeah, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.